Yes, I, I do a lot of movies, Jimmy. You from UCLA? No. Where are you from? Albuquerque, New Mexico. Are you? Yeah. Well, I'm from down here. I do chips. You ever watch chips? Yeah. Well, I do that. Play that sound. Let the rhythm come down. I I live down here on the beach. And there I see I'm the most photographed person around this world. I don't know if that's true. Well, we'll go ahead and say that. I mean, I'm I'm sitting here photographing you. Okay. I, I'll talk to you. I'm the most decorated Marine. You got sound there, too? Yeah. I'm the most decorated Marine in World War II. I'm on the beach. I put 30 years in the Marine Corps. And I loved every day I put it. So I fought in the South Pacific. I did that. I love the beach. I'm down here with the kids. I have a recording studio at 1400 Washington. It's right up the street here. I have a recording studio and I do that now. And I write. I still write. And that's me. Are you still going to college, young man? No. No, I'm in the TV biz. Are you? Yeah. Well, sit down. Then maybe we can talk. Uh, I, I've done real people. You know the show? I did 60 minutes with Mike Wallace down here. Down here, I did that. It's a little background behind your picture. Now, I did that one. I did the Al Jolson story. It's not really yet. I did that right upstairs. There. I, this is only a hobby with me. I, I love the people of the beach because we got the most talented people Writers. We got everything. You can quote me, you want my name? Yeah, I do. Oh, I'll give it to you. Bob Schmidt. Bob Schmidt. S-H-M-I-D-E. I'm the most I'm the most decorated Marine in the world. And two, Audie Murphy was the most decorated soldier. He was married to the Taylor at one time. He was I, I've done a lot of movies. Uh, my dad was a director. I was in our gang comedy with Oh, absolutely. And they're, they're, well, they're putting him out again. Yeah, Spanky just died. Spanky. McFarland? Yeah. Spanky McFarland. Yeah. Yeah, he just died. I played with him. I, I played him in. I went in the Marine Corps at 16. At 16, I lied my age. And I went in the Marine Corps. So you're getting a good story, and you got probably, I hope you got some good pictures. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, as a young man, when did you graduate? 1971. I just turned 28 two days ago. I just turned 59 uh, last month. July? Yeah. No, May. 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 I, I turned 30. How are you? Good to see you. This is a kid. You should talk to him too. He's from New Mexico. Yeah. And he works for a film.
for that kid. This is a good kid. One of the few that I know on the beach. He's a good kid. Can't get that mayor's job. City council. I lost by less than 200 votes. I didn't tell you that, young man. Did you run for mayor of Venice? I ran for council. Uh-huh. Uh, I lost by less than 200 on the right end. Showtime, 10 minutes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, showtime, and then no man will go to work. Showtime, 10 minutes. Ah, uh, I lost. I, I didn't even camp. You have a wonderful group in the I, house tonight by the name of People. All yeah, here. we're all here. It's wonderful to be here with all the people. Yeah. The name of this affair is called Enjoy Your Life. And the old man will star in it. <laughs> I love the beach. Shut up. Oh, I will shut up. The old man loves the beach. And he's been down here seven years now since he got out of the Marine Corps. I was called back to Korea after World War II. Anybody got a cigarette? Albuquerque, you said? Hell, I know a lot of people up there. You know what I hate? Flagstaff. Uh, Flagstaff isn't one of my favorite places either. Hell, you, you get snowed in. Yeah. You get snowed in. I got snowed in there for three days. And there's nothing to do? Nothing. I was just in the motel watching TV. Hell, I couldn't get out of there. Uh, but I know New Mexico, and I know Wyoming. We'll see you later. Not accurate enough. I was Good to see you. Rabbit. Not accurate. Uh, I, I know Wyoming real well. Uh, you ever been to Rock Springs? Mm -hmm. It's right out of Denver. You come down, you, you hit... Uh, uh, what the hell are you doing? No, you don't hit that. Uh, uh, not Casper, because you, you're below Casper. Uh, Laramie. Oh, yeah. You learn me. And then you make a left, and you hit Rock Springs. Uh, you got Rock Springs to your left. I, I worked in the cold after I got out of the, the service, I worked in the court. Hey, you got your daughter with you. Who does? Yeah, the old man knows that. Uh, well, if you only lost by 200 votes on the right end, that sounds like everybody knows you too. Yeah, oh, that isn't too bad. No, not at all. Uh, well, just, just I, I, I did, I didn't uh, go downtown. I hate L.A. I didn't go downtown soon enough to sign. I didn't. I came down. I live right up, right up the street. I have a studio, by the way. If you want to record or do anything, come up right straight through here. There's a fence. And go to the right of the fence. And you, you'll find 1,400. If you, if you want to record or do anything, we charge $12 an hour. That isn't too bad. That's to pretty reasonable. Sure. We charge $12. Charlie and I are up there. I've been up there with Charlie seven years since I hit the beach. You went to I, I wanted to commit suicide, and Charlie talked me out of it. Well, you know, good. I was going to walk out on the sand and out into the beach, but he talked me out of it. And I've been on the beach ever since. In all probability, you'd have floated anyway. 
I don't know if I But anyhow, okay. Uh, I don't know if I were the book or not. But I, 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 at that, that, at that time, no, I, I don't think I would. He talked me out of it. Uh, he was a great producer in Nashville. Charlie Fredericks. That's where I live. I live with his family. You can have anything there at your price. And if you don't have any money, you can have a spree. That's the way I live. Uh, he talked me out of it. I was down on the bench in front of the beach house. Down there. And he talked me out of it. They're getting ready to go again. Don't give me no room! I've ever been here. Well, yes, you travel a lot, you know, man. All the time. All the time? Yeah. For Albuquerque? Well, since, since Friday, <clears throat> since last Friday, I've, tri I've driven 3,000 miles. Oh, you're distance. driving. I yeah. fly. Yeah. You can have anything there at your price. Uh, I, uh, I fly. I fly western into Minneapolis. I, you know the Ritter night newspapers? Yeah. Well, I work for them too. I do, I do a few stores. Uh, I don't do what you do. Uh, I do a few stores for them. About the west. I, I still do that. But I, I knew Mr. Knight. You know, they also had San Jose. You know? Uh -huh. uh, I worked up there. I worked up in church. I, I was a crime reporter. I know a lot of them. That's, That's all right. Take it free. You're welcome. That's the way I live. I no longer worry about the money. If I can help somebody, I'll do it. That's the way I live. I. I get a little pension of the service, and it's sufficient to pay my bills. I hope you enjoy the book, young man. I try to. Okay. Yeah, the old man does this thing, and he loves the beach. He loves the people that come down to the beach. You're gonna keep, I don't know if you're recording or not. Oh, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Well, you're gonna get a good story about a man that got three silver stars of the Marine Corps, was the most decorated Marine in World War II. And he's on the beach right now. And you can put it down that way. He loves the beach. He loves the people. He spends a lot of time in Wadsworth Hospital. That's a VA hospital. He spends a lot of time in there. But he's on the beach and he loves the beach and he loves the people. Okay. I still record and I, I do my best. I'm against the draft. You might tell you that if you're recording. I'm against the draft. I think our kids will fight on our shores without being slaughtered on foreign shores. They'll do it here. And they'll fight. We don't have to draft them. 
All right, well, I'll quote you, Bob. I said it. I washed it off. You know where I live now. You know my name. I put 30 years in the Marine Corps, and I'm against the draft. No draft. I worked with Martin Luther King, by the way. I'll tell you that. I worked with him in Selma. I worked him with in Montgomery. I marched with him. The old man. Yeah, I did it. I took Cleveland absence. Have I? Oh, I don't care. Besides the problem. Obama. Oh, I'm going to get ready to go. Okay, thank you. You know, I got 90% of the black folks down here. How the heck I did it, I don't know. But they gave me 90% of the black folks down here on the last one. I don't know how the heck I did it. I didn't put up a sign. I didn't do a damn thing. But just sit here and talk to you. That is all I did. Well, Bob, maybe you'll win the next time. 200 votes well, isn't much. It's not too many. Those are my friends over there. I helped them to win those. Right across the street. There are those of them. I got more friends than I ever had in my life. Right on this beat. <laughs> You know, I come down here at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and people say, how can you do that? We had 52 people killed on this beach last year. But I come down, nobody bothers me. They are good people down on this beach. And that's the way we're going to keep it. I raise hell down here. I just put 13 days in jail. You know what? The charge was public nuisance. Public nuisance. I have to go back to court on the 25th, and I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. You got a good story, you got good pictures, young man. Well, thanks, Bob. Okay. I'll be here for a few days. I'll come back and talk to you. I'll, I'll be here uh, at least through the weekend. Okay. Well, I'll stop back by. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Good to have you. I talked to you a lot.